summer, parents were shocked to learn that the FDA recalled a number of popular sunscreens because they contained the cancer-causing ingredient benzene. Pediatrician Dr. Anna Maria Temple joins us now with how to protect ourselves and our families from benzene. Doctor, I, 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 was, I could not believe it because these are very popular, uh, commonly used sunscreens, and I understand that no benzene, there is no level of benzene that is safe, correct? That is correct. FDA has said no level of benzene. And the scary fact is many of us are using these sunscreens and these are uh, the benzene has been found in sprays especially. And it's so easy at the beach when we're covered in sand to just spray your sunscreen really quickly so we can prevent cancer. And then lo and behold, a huge study comes out to show that out of 224 products, 43 of them contain this cancer-causing ingredient, benzene. Of note, benzene is not an ingredient in sunscreens. It is happens in the manufacturing process of sunscreens. Mm. Okay, so besides not using these recalled sunscreens, how can we protect ourselves against it? Well, a lot of products actually have benzene in them. Some common things that you may have in your home right now, such as candles. So benzene comes from petroleum-based products. So paraffin candles can contain benzene. Oh, I know my mamas are gonna be upset, glue. Also common cleaners in the household can have benzene products too. And let's not forget cigarettes and smoking are also filled with this uh, cancer causing ingredient. So if you do get some benzene in your system, is there a way to detox? The great news, there's so many things that we can do, and I'm just going to cover my five easy steps on decreasing and detoxing benzene from your system. Number one is going to be cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower because they help the liver detox toxic compounds. Don't forget your citrus fruits, right? We want them in the summer anyway, and with school start, vitamin C is great for the immune system, not to mention protein products protein is uh, uh, when we talk about peanut butters without sugar and beans is, is in this example they're low in sugar which forces the liver to process all your fat cells and getting rid of toxic things like benzene don't forget your water make sure that you use filtered water so we're not exposing our bodies to chemicals such as chlorine and other unwanted things in the water while you're cooking don't forget to use spices. We only think of salt and pepper, but rosemary, garlic, and turmeric are amazing, powerful spices that will detox the body. And everyone's favorite. <laughs> Yay, the got return of the poop. emoji. We've <laughs> gotta poop every single day. And lastly, decrease the toxicity in your house by getting an air purifier of your choice so we can breathe some clean air and th all of these tips will help your body detox from the unwanted chemicals that we may be exposed to without even knowing that is all great advice but if, if we could in the last minute I, I would just like to ask you a question that i have as a parent in light of this sunscreen news how do i choose the right sunscreen well, we're gonna do some quick tips, some like really easy things. I did put on my Instagram page at Dr. Anna Maria Temple, a handy dandy guide on the four things that you want to avoid, but you're like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna even spell these things, okay? Well, we're gonna focus on, see, the oxybenzone, octanoxate, homosalate, and nanoparticles, we wanna avoid those. And you're like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna remember this, okay? All you need to look for in your sunscreen, look for zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. I also have provided you guys in my handy dandy book, The Rule of Five, on ways to choose the right sunscreen with the least toxic chemicals to make your life a little easier so we can raise healthy children in, unfortunately, this unhealthy world. I am going to find you on Instagram. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. And then when I go shopping for sunscreen, voila, I'll have it. Thank you so much, doctor. It was so great to be here. Thank you. And remember, she's at Dr. Anna Maria Temple on Instagram.